the hardest question I could find for solving quadratic equations. Calculate the positive value of 1 over 1 minus 3x if 1 over x plus 6 over x plus 2 is equal to 5. Algebraic fractions catch a lot of people out. They're a lot easier than you might think. Imagine them just as normal fractions. We find a common denominator, we cross multiply, and then we go from there. So I'm going to do exactly that. So finding a common denominator is just going to be x bracket x plus 2, like this. And then we cross multiply, so we multiply the x plus 2 up there and the x up here. I've put them over the same denominator because ultimately that's what we do anyway. So x plus 2 plus 6x is equal to 5. So from here, we can expand out and collect all our terms. So that's going to be 7x plus 2 over x squared plus 2x is equal to 5. So we multiply the x squared plus 2x up onto the other side, leaving us with 7x plus 2 equals 5 bracket x squared plus 2x. And if we expand that bracket, we're going to get 7x plus 2 on the left hand side still, and 5x squared plus 10x on the right hand side. So now this looks exactly like a quadratic equation that we need to solve. So if we bring the 7x and the 2 onto the right hand side by taking them away, we're going to have 5x squared plus 3x minus 2 equals 0. Now straight away from here, if it's not obvious, feel free to use the quadratic formula. Let a equal 5, b equal positive 3, and c equals minus 2. If you want the practice, just do it anyway. We can actually factorise here, although it's not the most obvious thing in the world. We would have 5x in this one, x in this one, and if we multiply the 1 by the 5, so put the 1 there, and have a minus 2, that will indeed make 3, a positive 3, when we add them together. So that means that x is equal to 2 over 5, and x is also equal to minus 1. Now we want to find the positive value of 1 over 1 minus 3x when x is either one of these two values. Now, I know it seems a bit counterintuitive, but we actually want to go with the negative option here because it will produce a double negative on the bottom of the fraction. So we're going to have 1 over 1 minus 3 times minus 1. 1 minus minus 3 is going to equal 4. So it's actually going to equal a quarter. And that is the final answer. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this makes sense and good luck in your exams.